Good morning, good afternoon, guys, wherever you're joining us from today. I hope you are having a good day so far. Hiya, Mike. How are you getting on? I'm doing pretty good here in Vietnam. Sounds good to me. Cool. So, um, hi, guys. I just wanted to do a bit of a brief introduction today. So today we are going to be running you through all that you need to know regarding the Vincere new customer portal. Now, I'm personally really excited about this new portal. And there's a lot of really great functionalities, a real kind of upgrade from what we had previously as well when it comes to your ticket tracking. And we are going to get into all of that as well. Um, also, who are we? Great question. Um, so I am Robin. Um, I'm from the customer success team in the London office. And Mike, would you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, I'm Mike. I'm the customer support manager of our team here in Vietnam. Fabulous. Cool. So um, we are going to be taking you through the customer portal today and all of the really great new benefits and functionalities that you guys are going to have access to. So I feel like let's jump on into this today. So I'm just going to quickly exit out of here. Now, the first places in which you guys are going to be able to access your portal is going to be within Vincere itself. So don't worry is that if you are ever going through this, if you have any questions, anything pops up, there are really quick and easy ways to access this portal. So the first place you can access this portal is just by selecting on the top here and then jumping down to Help Center. But the second place you can also do this is on the left-hand sidebar. And if you just scroll on down to Need Help down below here, this is going to take you straight on in to the access customer success portal and this is what it looks like a nice little facelift don't you think Mike <laughs> yeah I think it looks great great really nice so you guys have got a lot of flexibility and you guys can go through here and see a lot of really great articles also for you guys that are access customers already you guys are going to be able to access all of your support within one easy to reach place and um, so it's going to be really great really unanimous across that front as well Firstly, guys, is that if you have not accessed the portal already or you have not signed in, do not worry. Um, all of our customers would have been sent across an email that they could go through and then sign up through that way. If you didn't get that, not to worry at all. All you guys are going to need to do is that if you are an existing, go up to the top here, click sign in. And you want to go down the I'm a customer route. And then you want to go down the I've forgotten my password. So type in your email address that you've popped in the top and then go through forgotten password. If this does not work, again, do not panic on this front. All you guys will need to do is just go back on into the support page. And in the top right hand corner, you want to head on across to register. And this will just get all of your details across, send it across to the team, and then we can register all of your details as well. So with this registration as well, I would allow up to 24 hours just for that to come through. But in the meantime, if you guys do have any questions, any problems, please just reach out to us um, and we can get onto that as well. Um, anything I've missed around the registration process on that one, Mike? Um, no, I think it's pretty straightforward and um, it may take some time. But once you get through that and you're using the portal, it'll be um, a better experience for you. Hey, Robin, let me jump in real quick and show them what it'll look like if they're logging in as a customer. So if you're logging in as a customer, you'll click here, sign into my portal. You'll enter your username and password. Press sign in. And then you'll be in the portal. So Robin will take it from here with how to manage and track your current and existing cases inside of the portal. So I am now a customer within the site. So this is what this is going to look like. Very similar to if you did not log in um, from the beginning. So even if you don't log in, you guys are still going to have access to a lot of really great support port um, support articles that you can ask and go through as well, which is one of the things I'm going to run through today. So this is very similar to what our help center was within Vincere. So if you guys are still wanting to find all those really great and helpful articles, they have not gone anywhere. They have just migrated and moved to a fancy new house, which is what this is. So you guys are going to be able to come on in here, search for all of your different products. So if you do have a couple of different access products, these will also appear on the left hand side as well. Um, or if you just want to go straight into your Vincere, you can click on Vincere core and then you can come in here and start describing your issues. So I can say I'm looking for anything that is relating to my emails. So I can say maybe I'm doing my sign request or maybe I need to configure my email templates. I can really easily jump on into this and I've got all of those still really great and useful articles and the content is still there. So please do not fret because we have moved systems that they are not going to be there. This is how you're going to come in and find all of those really great articles. 
Next part you guys are wanna jumping into is gonna be within the My Access section. And this is where you are gonna have another housing of all of your support tickets and also all of your support cases along up the top here as well. So as you scroll on down, you can see down below here, this is where all of your cases are going to sit. So any of my open cases will sit below here and I'll jump into that in a sec, but I'll just show you guys how you can create a new case as well. So what you're gonna do is head on over to the right hand side where it says create a case. And what you can do is you scroll down is just give a nice little description as to the issues or the training requirements that you guys might want to have around this as well. So in this instance, I could come in here and I can say, let's stick with the email connection issue not working. And then I can hit next. Then it's going to ask you for more description. Now, I think Mike is going to agree with me on this one. The more detail, the better. If you want to write us a short novel, fantastic. That works for us. The more detail that you guys can provide at this stage allows our support team to go in and really find the details and the issues that you're having first time around. So go into so much detail around this as you need to. Um, I'm just going to say email is Outlook. Um, tried to connect but not connecting, something along those lines. So I can give the details around this. Product area, as you scroll on down, this is gonna give you details of what this is. So in this instance, there's a couple of different ones, but I'm gonna just go on into my emails. And then business impact. Now this is gonna let us know the cru the, how crucial this is and what this is having around you guys as well. So there's a couple of different descriptions around here. As it's email for me, I'm not able to connect this. I am going to say that this is a major for me because I need to be sending my emails from within the system. Any screenshots or anything like that that you have got, please upload these files just by selecting down here as well. And then as you scroll on down, you're going to be able to raise a case. Now, I am sure that this section over here has caught a few people's eyes, which is an option to give a call. Now, we are working on getting phone support and it is something that is definitely within our roadmap in the future. Um, at the moment, this is not available, unfortunately. Um, but as soon as we have got the support around this and also to get this up and running, um, we will let all of you guys know as soon as this becomes available. So just keep an eye out for that future phone support, but it is something that is coming within the future. Yes, and with that being said, though, if you yes. ever need for us to reach out, we're more than happy to um, try to understand your case and get you with the first response resolution. If not, just ask for a call. We're more than happy to jump on. Exactly that, guys. So the support team are incredibly friendly. So with this, just have a good chat with these guys. Get, Like I said, get as much information across initially. If they can help you out with an email, they will. If a call is necessary, they can jump on a call with you guys as well. So the more information initially, the better. And then they can reach out to you guys and start working on that resolution ASAP for you guys. Unreal. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go over and raise my case online. And that is just going to send that case across. And it says that this has now been created. Now below here, you have also got your case number. So if you do want to jot that down, that's fine. If not, it is going to store within this portal anyway. So the first thing I could do is I can head on over to view the case. And this is just going to give across all of my different details below here as well. Any comments I need to add in, any updates, I can go into here and select those. And this is where you are also going to get those responses from your Vincere support team as well. So as you go through here on the right hand side as well, you can see when the case was created, the details around this. And if you do need to upload any additional files throughout, it's really simple and easy to do this. So you can just go across and upload this nice and easily. And then what you've got at the top here is that if the case has been resolved on its own, you can close that case along the top here as well. Have you got any um, comments around this one, Mike, or anything that I might have missed out during this process? Yeah, no, I think um, you did a good job covering it. And um, yeah, absolutely. Screenshots are really helpful for us to understand what the issue is if you can't describe it as well. Um, and like I mentioned, we're always happy to jump on a call should things get a little bit complicated. Um, we're the same people, same support. Nothing <laughs> has changed really much on the back end. And we're, we're really happy to get you sorted in any way that we can. Perfect. Yeah, exactly that, guys. So please do not feel like you can't reach out to us. We are still very much here. And this is a nicer way for you guys to keep on track and have everything in one place as well.
So what you guys can also do is that if you have just logged in and you're wanting to check any of your cases, any cases that require your action are going to appear on this side as well. Also, what will happen is that when you open up a new case, you are going to get sent an email across saying your case has been received. If there's been any updates, you'll also get a link saying this is the update, jump on into the case. And this is where you're going to have all of those things that require any form of actioning. So you can come in here, chat with the different support team members that are going to be dealing with your cases and then get those resolved nice and quickly for you guys. Also, you've got your open cases on the left hand side here, but you can also jump on into your view all cases. So if you want to look for any historic cases, you can find them within here as well. And it's a real nice place to find this. I think this is going to be really great and really useful, especially when guys are reaching out for certain processes or workflows. I find that if I would got an answer and then maybe a month later I was looking for that answer again, I was having to scramble through my entire inbox and looking for different things. Whereas with this one, guys, it's going to be stored here. So if you had an answer three months ago, it's not going to matter. It's going to stay within here and you're going to be able to find that resource instead of having to go through and reaching out to the team again. So kind of think of this as building up your own little resource um, library in the back end with all of your questions and answers. Anything to point out on this one, Mike? Yeah, no, no, this is great for you because you can definitely be more organized with all your cases that you had and that you currently have. You can search through it and you can even see that you can download all of the cases that you've had in a little Excel um, should you need that. Yeah. Exactly that. So you can download all of your data up onto the top right hand section here. You can also filter by your different stasis as well. So if there is anything that does require action, if you've got a couple of cases on the go, you can just select need action down below here or just look for your open or your solved as well. So it's going to be really great and a real nice searchable place for you guys to come in and find all of that information. And um, along this as well, guys, if you have any questions with this, please just pop them into the chat in the um, sorry, into the chat box. Um, I will be going through some of these towards the end. So if you do have any questions along the way, pop them in there and I will reach out to them. I believe we've got a couple of people in the support team in the chat as well. So they have probably been answering some of your questions along with today. Um, but if you do have any questions, why don't you try out the new support portal? Reach out any questions you guys have got. Please go through here. Um, if you are having any issues logging in, please feel free to pop them into the chat today and we can look into that for you. But that is our new fancy support portal. Mike, have you guys got anything else to add or anything so you want me to run through in a bit of detail? No, absolutely. That's how it works. Um, <laughs> so just reach out whenever you want. Please give your feedback as well. We live off of the feedback. What we can change, we always try to change. And we, we learn every day here at the support team. Um, so don't be afraid and just let us know. Yeah, exactly that, guys. So um, thank you again all for coming today. And we hope that you guys are getting up and ready on the support portal. But again, any questions at any time, please just reach out. Um, we're, we're always looking to improve our services. So anything, any suggestions you guys have, please feel free to bring them forward. Um, but that was everything for today. So that will be it for me and Mike today. Um, Mike, thank you so much for joining me today and going through the details. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And I'm sure we will see you all soon. Bye, guys.